Hi guys, it's Curly Girl 323 and I just wanted to post um, a quick product review. Um, these are products that I've had for a really long time and um, they were products that I used uh, several times and I did enjoy them. They weren't my staple products but I did enjoy them and then they got packed up when I ended up moving and I recently rediscovered them when I unpacked them out of the box they had been sitting in for forever. So I was really excited to find them, and um, so I use them. And my hair today represents how um, how my hair turned out while using the products. You'll notice I do probably have a little bit of frizz. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I do have a little bit of frizz today. I just want to make note that that is from me messing with my hair too soon. I ended up messing with my hair when um, it was still kind of partially damp and so it wasn't fully dry and so that's where the frizz comes from not from the product I just wanted to make note of that um, but this is how my hair turned out and like I said I do enjoy the products um, I don't use them on a daily basis for a couple of reasons and I'll get to that in just a little bit but the products that I am reviewing today are both by Jesse Curl and the first is the Rock and Ringlets Styling Potion and then the second one is the Confident Coils Styling Solution now, firstly, I want to make note that these bottles are outdated. Jesse Curl has redone the look of their bottles. Um, as far as I know, the formulas are still the same. I don't know of any changes, so the formulas are still the same. But the bottles do look different. So that's how old these products are, is that they are the old bottles. But they still work just the same. Anyway, so... Um, the Rock and Ringlet Styling Potion is a powerful curl enhancer that encourages and boosts all types of curls. The thin consistency of this medium hold potion makes it easy to evenly distribute even through even the thickest of curls. So um, I read that description just because it kind of lays out what it's supposed to do and, in my opinion, what it does do. Um, the smell of this is citrus lavender. They do have different scents, but this one is citrus lavender, and it smells just like it describes. There's lavender with kind of like a orangey, lemony smell is basically what it is. And I personally smell the lavender a lot more than I smell the citrus. Um, I can pick out the lavender like to a T. If I didn't know what it was, I would have said, hey, that smells like lavender. But when you'd say that there's citrus in it, I can definitely smell the citrus as well, but... I just pick up on the lavender a lot more. So it is a pretty strong smell, I guess. But um, if you like lavender, and especially if you like citrus as well, um, it's a very good smell. And just as a note, it does not leave your hair smelling that way. Like, it smells that way pretty strongly straight out of the bottle and while you're styling your hair. But after your hair is dry and everything, really after you've put it in your hair and let it settle, it doesn't smell like that anymore. So I do want to make note of that. Um, just in case you're somebody who's sensitive to smells, especially strong ones, it's not strong smelling once it's settled in your hair. But I do want to point out this, this um, is very liquidy. You're going to see it's going to come out. And um, it's kind of a brown, a brown color. And oops, it dropped because it's that liquidy. So it's very, very, very liquidy. It's a brown liquid, so it kind of looks, I don't know, it kind of looks gross, to be completely honest, but it's not. It's it's just gooey. It's not sticky or anything. It's just slimy. And like I said, I also have the Confident Coils Styling Solution. And this, it also is the citrus lavender smell. They smell pretty much identical. There's not any difference. And then this, this is like a liquidy conditioner type of texture. So it's white. You'll see it's pouring down my finger. So it's thicker than the Rock and Ringlets, but it's white. So it's definitely more of a conditioning type thing. And um, the way that I use it is I do about a quarter size in my palm of the rock and ringlets first, mix it all over my hands so it activates the product and evenly distributes it over my hands. And then um, while I'm upside down with dripping wet hair, I scrunch in the product and I do it for quite a while. I scrunch it so I know that it's thoroughly in my hair. And then I end up doing like my sideways, I'll flip over sideways and I'll scrunch it up this way and I'll do the same thing. like. Do it so I know it's thoroughly in there, and then I do it the other, flip it sideways so all my hair is that way, and I just scrunch it up to the top of my head. 
And I probably scrunched for a good 20 to 30 seconds in each position. That's probably a good estimation. And it gets the product in there, makes sure it's there, and um, evenly distributes it throughout your hair. So once it comes out and you're dry and everything, your hair is dry, your hair, it, it's very, very soft. It really is. Um, now, the one thing to note, though, is that it does have magnesium sulfate in it which is basically um, Epsom salt and so being that it's salt if you use it like I don't use it on a daily basis because of that reason if I overuse it it dries out my hair but if I do it like once every once in a while then it doesn't really dry it out because my normal routine is pumping moisture into my hair so consistently so it doesn't really wash your hair out at least not mine um, but I don't do it regularly because if I were to make it an everyday thing, my hair would be pretty dry and that's not what I like. However, um, I don't use the two of them like by themselves usually. And what I mean by that is I do put in a leave-in conditioner. Um, usually I do like uh, Kinky Curly Not Today is my recent one. Or um, I've done uh, Yes to Cucumbers condition, leave-in conditioner. And I've done the um, Giovanni's Direct Leave-in Conditioner. So all of those would work, or whatever leave-in conditioner you use. And then um, I do Curl Keeper, because Curl Keeper is like my holy grail product. I always use Curl Keeper about 99% of the time it's in my hair. And um, so I put both of those underneath, and then I do the rock and Ringlets, followed by the Confident Coils. And I do it I do it in that order, and I don't know if you could switch up the order of these two products and have it have the same effect. I haven't tried it. The way that I remember to do it in the in that order is that if you look on the back of them, the confident coil says to use it with the rock and ringlets. And so since it says use it with, I just know that I have to have this in my hair before I can use this with it. So that's how I remember what order I put them in. Um, and uh, but I've used I have used these two products without anything else in my hair. It doesn't have the same effect to me. It was a really, really light hold, and it worked for a few hours, and then my hair just went poof, and not in a good way. So it wasn't a volume poof, it was a frizz poof, and I had to just redo my hair, and there was no hope of second or third day curls. So these are my first day curls, and we'll see how they are tomorrow, but I do like the how they turn out, and I really enjoy the products. You can get these on curlmart.com. That's the best place to go, in my opinion. Again, you will get them in a different kind of bottle. So if you go on there looking for these bottles, you won't find them. Jessie Curl has a completely different look. and um, they. Uh, but anyway, they're $16.95 a bottle, and it is 8 fluid ounces for $16.95 a piece. So um, they're not like the cheapest products in the world, but they last forever. Like, they last a long time because you don't use a whole lot. You use, like, I used a quarter size in my hair, and I probably could have used a little bit less just because my hair is so short. So it all depends on the length of your hair. But if you've got shorter hair than I do, you could probably use, like, a uh, nickel size amount or maybe even a dime size, depending on your hair type. Now, if it's longer, I would definitely recommend at least the quarter size in the palm of your hand. Um, but you just kind of experiment with it. It's very... It's very thin consistency, so it's not a thick product. It really won't weigh your hair down very easily. You'd probably have to cake in some other kind of product in order for it to really weigh your hair down. So I like that about the product, too, is that it's very light. So um, the only times I've had issues is if I put too much leave in it, which has nothing to do with these products. So um, like I said, they're not, they're not my favorite products, and I don't use them regularly just because of the magnesium sulfate that's in it that can kind of dry your hair out a little bit. Um, but they are Curly Girl Method approved, so um, if you're following that method, they are, but just be aware that if you were to use them regularly, it potentially could dry your hair out. It just depends on the texture of your hair and the other stuff that you put in it. Like, if you put the right leave-in in it and stuff and other things to moisturize, you may not have an issue, but it's just with my hair, I don't like to use it on a regular basis for that reason. Otherwise, they're great products. I highly recommend getting them if you haven't tried them yet. Um, if you're thinking about trying the Jessie Curl line, I definitely recommend these two products to start with. Um, I actually have not tried any other Jessie Curl items. These were the two that I bought um, per like recommendation and reviews on um, naturallycurly.com. And so uh, I ended up buying these products and really enjoyed them. And again, I have the outdated versions because the bottles are completely different now, but still same formula as far as I know, same effect, same general concept. So. 
great products. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it, and um, share it with friends if you want to, and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things from me. So again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.